everyone, it's Haley, and welcome to my 2020 bookshelf tour! Yay! I feel like this couldn't come at a better time! So, honestly, the delay for this video was just because I was moving, okay? But, then I kept on pushing it off, and then, when I finally filmed it, it seems to be like the time for a long video like this, because we all have so much free time now. So today, I'm here to hopefully help brighten your day and bring you guys my official bookshelf tour. So, couple of things before I get into it. I'll just link a timestamp down below if you just want to skip to see the books, but this is my first bookshelf tour that I'm doing here, but it's also a really exciting one because for the first time, I have like all of my books on a shelf. I do still have some at my parents' house that are in the garage that I didn't get the chance to go through before moving and before this video, but I will get to them eventually. Don't know when now, but at some point in my life I will. But now I have like a library and none of my books are like in a corner or in a box anywhere. They're just all out and free and it makes me so happy. To go over a couple of frequently asked questions, all of my bookshelves are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. These ones are white and then the two downstairs in the living room are brown but they're all just Billy bookshelves. I don't actually have lights on my shelves anymore but the ones that I did have were from Costco and I don't think there's really any other questions but I used to have these three big shelves and then a skinny shelf because I had my room but now I have these three shelves I have one big shelf over there and then I have two big shelves downstairs so I have six big shelves total of books to show you guys today and I'm so excited about it so for my main shelf, which we will start off with, that is just all of my read and unread books. I have read most of them, which is exciting, but I organize them by color. So they are color coordinated by the colors of the rainbow. I know a lot of people don't like this method of organization, but I have used it for a very long time because it's the easiest way for me to find things. I'm a very visual person, so I think of the cover and a color of a book before I'll remember the title or the author. So honestly, I find everything super simply and I don't really care about about series being mixed up it doesn't bother me they're fine some separation will do them good we're all social distancing here I'm not being insensitive I swear I'm trying to make light of things so then I don't combust with anxiety. The next shelf is the other shelf in my office which houses all of my Alice in Wonderland books. So I have 96 copies now and they are all on that shelf beautifully displayed among trinkets and stuff so that's a fun time. And then downstairs I have the two shelves and those carry just kind of hodgepodge. So the one has random stuff, it has some classics, it has some adult books, and then just honestly random books. It has Harry Potter on there as well. And then the other one has mostly my Barnes & Noble collectible classics editions, as well as some other really pretty classics editions that are my favorites, and then Shakespeare. Something I noticed while filming this bookshelf tour is that I own a lot of duplicate copies of certain classics, but that's because as much as I love reading, I also love the art of a book. So I am a collector as well as a reader. You can be both. I will give you guys a grand total for how many books I actually own on the screen here now because I know a lot of you guys are going to wonder about that. So yeah, that's how many books I own. I'm gonna have to count and I'm gonna hate myself later for saying I would count them. If you did want to know which book specifically I haven't read that I have on my shelves, I will link the video that I did earlier in the year showing you guys all of those books down below so you can check that out. But I feel like this is going to be a very long bookshelf tour so grab yourself a snack or whatever and get cozy and get ready and just let's begin. Actually before we get into the bookshelf tour I did want to mention I do plan on doing an office tour soon-ish. I still have a few things that I want to change and pick up before I do that so at some point that will be coming. And now we'll get into all the books. Okay let's get started with my rainbow bookshelves and starting with red because obviously that's how the rainbow starts. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco, Levi Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, Rune and Rising by Lee Bardugo, Ensnared by A.G. Howard, Winger and Standoff by Andrew Smith, Enchanté by Gita Trilise, Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan, The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye, The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter, Under a Painted Sky by Stacey Lee, Blood of Wonderland by Colleen Oakes, Puddin by Julie Murphy, Orphan Monster Spy by Matt Colleen, Blood for Blood by Ryan Groudon, The Hate You Give by 
by Angie Thomas, Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page, The Candle in the Flame by Nafisa Azad, Fire by Kristen Kishore, Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon, Suggested Reading by Dave Konis, Paper Towns by John Green, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis, The Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass, Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, The Elite by Kira Cass, Anna Burning by Shannon Hale, With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, The Luminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, When Dimple Met Rishi by Sendia Manun, Cure for the Common Universe by Christian McKay Heidegger, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, Say You Still Love Me by K.A. Tucker, Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren, Stargazing by Jen Wang, Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, Far From the Tree by Robin Benway, Book of a Thousand Days by Shannon Hale, What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera, Brazen by Catherine Longshore, Graceling by Kristen Kishore, Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera, Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim, Guilt by Catherine Longshore, Everland by Wendy Spinelli, The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson, Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams, King of Scars by Lee Bardugo, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, Timekeeper by Tara Sim, The Crown's Game by Evelyn Sky, Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco, Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, Meet Cute by Helena Hunting, The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, The Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone, The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, This Time Will Be Different by Misa Sugera, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, The Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody, The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Splintered by A.G. Howard, The Toll by Neil Schusterman, Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Steve Otter, The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro, The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer, Entwined by Heather Dixon, Every Heart a Doorway by Seanan McGuire, Gem and Dixie by Sarah Zar, Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass, Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs, Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Well Met by Jen DeLuca, Forest Born by Shannon Hale, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, Infinite by Jody Meadows, Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds, Love at First Like by Hannah Orenstein, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, The Wicked King by Holly Black, A Court of Wings and Rune by Sarah J. Mass, Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller, Of Curses and Kisses by Sendia Manun, The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand, The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall, Layer of Dreams by Lippa Bray, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno, To Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Christo, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo, Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Coulters, Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, The Passion of Dolsa by Julie Berry, All the Ever Afters by Danielle Teller, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller, Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson, River Secrets by Shannon Hale, Night Owls by Jen Bennett, Frost Like Night by Sarah Roche, A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro, The Night Country by Melissa Albert, In an Absent Dream by Seanan McGuire, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton, The Valiant by Leslie Livingston, Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, Sea Witch by Sarah Henning, The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco, The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, Long May She Reign by Rhiannon Thomas, The Young Elites by Marie Liu, The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli, The Selection by Kira Cass, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa, A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahara Mafi, Again But Better by Christine Riccio, Chaotic Good by Whitney Gardner, The Unlikelies by Carrie Firestone, The Disenchantments by Nina LaCour, Always Never Yours by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegeman Broca, Fight or Flight by Samantha Young, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, How to Hack a Heartbreak by Kristen Rockaway, Beneath the Sugar Sky by Seanan McGuire, Renegades by Marissa Meyer, The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, The Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse, The Good Luck Charm 
by Helena Hunting, The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli, History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera, Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, Field Notes on Love by Jennifer E. Smith, The Upside of Falling by Alex Light, Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins, Faker by Sarah Smith, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed, The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adye, Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman, The Pearl Thief by Elizabeth Wine, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, Love, Life, and the List by Casey West, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, Nocturna by Maya Motain, The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams, The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, Illusionarium by Heather Dixon, The War Outside by Monica Hesse, Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer, Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren, Wild Card by Marie Lu, Crier's War by Nina Varela, Crown of Coral and Pearl by Mara Rutherford, The Queens of Innis Lear by Tessa Grattan, The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, The Queen of Sorrow by Sarah Beth Durst, A Million Junes by Emily Henry, The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett, Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, A Torch Against the Night by Sabo Tahir, Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye, The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Iturb, translated by Lilith Thwaites, Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore, American Street by Ibi Zoboy, The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White, All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace, Into the Crooked Place by Alexandra Christo, A Million Sons by Beth Revis, The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson, Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson, The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter, The Air by Kira Cass, Throne of Glass in the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass, Dare Mighty Things by Heather Kiczynski, Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher, Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, Crest by Marissa Meyer, Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings, House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig, Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston, Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Young, Finale by Stephanie Garber, The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallaro, Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lana Popovich, The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale, My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling, Unhinged by A.G. Howard, Geekerella by Ashley Poston, Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody, The Cold is in Her Bones by Peter Nell Van Arsdale, The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams, The Crown by Kiera Cass, Incarnate by Jody Meadows, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegeman Broca, Wanderlost by Jen Malone, Only a Breath Apart by Katie McGarry, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang, Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, This Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, Lovely War by Julie Berry, The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White, Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz, Honor Among Thieves by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguirre, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan, Furthermore by Tahara Mafi, The Key to Happily Ever After by Tiff Marcello, The Right Swipe by Alicia Ray, Would Like to Meet by Rachel Winters, The Bride Test by Helen Huang, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, Asunder by Jody Meadows, In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken, Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, Fury Born by Claire Legrand, Children of Blood and Bone and Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Edayami, A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass, The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton, Ink and Spark by Alice Broadway, Romanov by Nadine Brands, The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal, Paper Towns by John Green, The Diviners by Libba Bray, Girl Man's Up by M. E. Gerard, Vicious by V. E. Schwab, Dumplin by Julie Murphy, The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oakes, Looking for Alaska by John Green, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Finale by Stephanie Garber, Mirror Mirror by Jen Kalanita, Part of Your World and Straight On Till Morning by Liz Braswell, There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole, The War Outside by Monica Hesse, I just got a finished copy of actually, you guys saw it earlier, so this one I'm just gonna go ahead and take off of my shelves. Winter Wood by Shay 
Earnshaw, War of the Cards by Colleen Oakes, Like a Love Story by Abdi Nazemian, Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Steve Otter, The Beautiful by Renee Adier, Save the Date by Morgan Matson, The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, Legendary by Stephanie Garber, Before the Devil Breaks You and The King of Crows by Libba Bray, Looking for Alaska by John Green, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating and Roomies by Christina Lauren, Umberland by Wendy Spinali, A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy, One Dark Throne and Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake, Cinder, Scarlet, Winter, and Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche, Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, Prodigy by Marie Lu, The Traitor's Game by Jennifer A. Nielsen, A Treason of Thorns by Laura E. Waymel, The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst, Tiny Pretty Things by Sona, Chiray Potra, and Danielle Clayton, The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Waymel, Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell, Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass, A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes, Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Seanan McGuire, Sherwood by Megan Spooner, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, Prisoner of Night and Fog and Conspiracy of Blood and Smoke by Anne Blankman, Born Wicked by Jessica Cas Spotswood, Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Moira Fowley Doyle, In the Shadow of Blackbirds by Cat Winters, The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bedore, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, Library of Souls, A Map of Days, and The Conference of Birds by Ransom Riggs, Until It Fades by K.A. Tucker, Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett, Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie, The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, The Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst, Iron Cast by Destiny Soraya, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I honestly don't know when I got two copies, but at some point I did. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. The Steep and Thorny Way by Kat Winters. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Pride by Ibi Zoboy. Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Hunted by Megan Spooner. Dreamland Burning by Jennifer Latham. Traitor Angels by Anne Blankman. After Alice by Gregory Maguire. Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Ween. Burn for Burn by Jenny Hahn and Siobhan Vivian. Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. Champion by Marie. Lou, I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, Love and Luck and Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel, One Day in December by Josie Silver, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever, Lara Jean by Jenny Hahn, The One by Kiara Cass, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, Sadie by Courtney Summers, Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston, One of Us is Love Lying by Karen M. McManus, Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween, Legend by Marie Lu, Invictus by Ryan Groudon, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis, Bone Gap by Laura Ruby, The Matchmaker's List by Sonia Lawley, Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert, A List of Cages by Robin Rowe, Just One Day and Just One Year by Gail Foreman, The Book Thief by Marcus Souza, The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd Jones, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, War Cross by Marie Lu, All Your Twisted Secrets by Diana Urban, Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner, Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes, On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, American Royals by Catherine McGee, A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir, I See London, I See France by Sarah Mlynowski, A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahara Mafi, By Your Side by Casey West, Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gournal, My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren, War Cross by Marie Lu, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, Unwind by Neil Schusterman, Restore Me and Witchwood by Tahara Mafi, Frost Blood by Ellie Blake, and The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. So as you guys might know, I also have my Alice collection, which now has its own shelf. So I'm not actually going to take off every single edition here, but there are now 96 copies. I still have a new one that I have to haul, but I will like show you all the shelves and 
everything. But yeah, this whole shelf is Alice, and I apologize for the tripod squeaking, but I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. But I'll do like a separate updated Alice collection to show you every edition. So on the first shelf, I just have my Barnes & Noble editions, then just some random editions. That's mostly what the shelf is, honestly. Coming down, some more random stuff. We've got Penguin, Puffin, just some random things on here. This shelf is a bit different than the others because it's taller, so it allows for some of my taller editions to fit. Next, I have some older editions, and then over here I have like storybook, picture book editions that are made specifically for kids. And the final shelf down here, it just has some more older editions, maybe ones that don't have the prettiest spines, and honestly, just random stuff, really. Okay, so now we are downstairs in the living room at my two living room shelves. So I'm starting with the one that is on the left. I want to apologize in advance for any car noise or background noise because this living room isn't very well in insulated and we live on a very busy street so you can always hear traffic. I actually waited until like the dead of night to film this so then there won't be as much traffic but there is still going to be a little bit so I'm sorry about that. But these shelves are just kind of a mix of stuff so let's just get into it. The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray, Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, The Songs of Innocence and of Experience by William Blake, Little Women and Little Wives by Louisa May Alcott, Gateways to Bookland by I don't know who it had Bookland in it, so I was like, cool, that's me. The Wizard of Oz and Other Wonderful Books of of Oz by L. Frank Baum, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man and the Dubliners by James Joyce, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Emma by Jane Austen, Thumbelina by Hans Christian Andersen, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Peter Pan by J. M. Barry, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, The Jungle Book and Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling, The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren, The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald, The Light Princess by George MacDonald, Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, Heidi by Johanna Spiri, The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen, 1984 by George Orwell, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins Comes Back, Mary Poppins in the Park, I knew that book was gonna fall but we're gonna keep pushing through. Mary Poppins Opens the Door by P.L. Travers. Emily of New Moon by L.M. Montgomery. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. You can't see this cover at all because it's so reflective, but it's The Little Prince by Antoine de saint Exupéry. Sleepy Hollow and Other Short Stories by Washington Irving. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. So kind of an awkward angle for this next shelf here because I'm just going to go over it really briefly. It's just a Harry Potter Potter shelf, you can tell that. So I have some illustrated editions to the far left. I have all the ones that they have so far. I have the extra novels, what's it called? The Hogwarts Library. And then I have the new Scholastic edition that make the Hogwarts like landscape thing. I don't know what words I'm trying to say here. Then I have some of the old Canadian slash UK editions, and then I have the house editions for the first book. So nothing too exciting. The Other Bolin Girl by Philippa Gregory. The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The Lady Elizabeth, Innocent Traitor, and Catherine of Aragon by Alison Weir. The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett, The Accidental Empress by Alison Pataki, The Paris Library by Janet Skeslian Charles, Winter of the World by Ken Follett, The Woman in the Castle by Jessica Shatuck, The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris, Victoria by Daisy Goodwin, The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. Then down here is another shelf 
where I'm not going to take off the books. I just have some random stuff that I've been gifted. It has sentimental value, just kind of stuff like that. And I also have more Harry Potter figurines. And then at the very bottom, I have some photo books and my coloring books. Now we are at the last shelf. Yay! So this is the shelf that is on the opposite side of the TV. It is on the right side and it just has more classics. This one is actually all classics. The other one was all kind of random stuff. The Bell Jar and the Collected Poems of Sylvia Plath. Classic Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. I'm sorry, all these covers are very reflective, so the lighting is a bit tricky. Fairy Tales from Around the World by Andrew Lang. Beauty and the Beast and Other Classic Fairy Tales. Little Women and Other Novels by Louisa May Alcott. Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. The Arabian Nights, translated by Sir Richard F. Burton. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Aesop's Illustrated Fables. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. American Gods and Anansi Boys by Neil Gaiman. A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Langell. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. A Treasury of Classic Poetry. The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This Side of Paradise and Other Classic Works by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Dracula by Bram Stoker. The Awakening and Other Stories by Kate Chopin. Heart of Darkness and Other Stories by Joseph Conrad. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The Odyssey by Holmes. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, Persuasion by Jane Austen, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Stories by Robert Louis Stevenson, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, The Swiss Family Robinson by Johann David Weiss, A Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne, Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery, The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle, Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery, The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi, The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen, The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett, The Call of the Wild by Jack London, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, A Little Princess by Francis Hodgson Burnett, Peter Pan by J. M. Barry, The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett, Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, Matilda by Roald Dahl, Heidi by Johanna Spiri, Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott, A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett, Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, Sense and Sensibility, Northanger Abbey, Emma, Mansfield Park, Persuasion, and of course, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. And finally, I'm not going to take these out either, but this is Shakespeare Corner, so I have a bunch of different Shakespeare plays. I have the complete works. I have a couple of those. But yeah, I just have lots of Shakespeare here.
2020 bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped to take your mind off things a little bit, but I'm sorry that it was a little bit of wait, but I hope it was worth it in the end. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!